You know, Kong, I was researching some skincare stuff and I finally found out what causes dry skin. And what is that, Hyde? A towel. What's up, Saints? I'm Kong. I'm Hyde. I'm Cole. I'm Ben. And this is SFHS Today. In national news, former President Donald Trump received his first punishment for violating the judge's gag order at his trial. Trump had to fork over a whopping $9,000, $1,000 for each instance of violation. In local news, last week while freshmen and sophomores were fast bridge testing, seniors and juniors had their senior and junior meetings. Along with that, they also had CPR training from Oak Grove Fire Department. And in continuation of local news, grad rates this year are on the rise. The district's four-year graduation rate is at 89.7%, which is an increase from last year's rate and is also 6.4% higher than the state average. Student celebrities everywhere. This is why you should care about five minutes of fame. In more local news saints, Ben went out and got an interview with an immensely talented saint. How do you make dresses and costumes? Uh, so first I drape everything on my mannequin. So I pin, um, a fabric that I'm not going to use for the actual final product and I kind of draw lines along there. I cut that out, transfer it to paper, and then I transfer that onto the fabric that I actually want to use. Normally I make the patterns myself. I don't like using store-bought patterns. However, I did use a store-bought pattern for Into the Woods. And how long does it take you to make the costumes or dresses? My Thespians one took me about a week, but I was cramming. Normally things take me about a week, but I kind of procrastinated a little bit normally. Have you won any awards doing this? Yes, I won a Thespian award for costume construction at the Thespies this past year. What's up, Saints? I'm Cole. And I'm Ben. And this is sports. In national sports news, the Minnesota Timberwolves have beat the Denver Nuggets in game one of the semifinals. Ben, how are you feeling about Ant, a.k.a. the GOAT of the NBA right now? Cole, I think if he beats Jokic, he cements himself as the new face of the NBA. But moving on to local sports news, boys tennis had a match last Tuesday against Duluth Marshall, which they won. Junior Connor Peterson had five straight aces. Baseball and softball played every day last week. Baseball's current record is 7-4, with softballs being 10-3-1. Cole, both teams are going to go to state. I can feel it. You know, Cole, take a guess at who I don't really see that much anymore. Ben, I wouldn't really know. Is it Kong? Hi. No, it's, it's Miss J, you know. On late starts last try, I would always bring donuts in for us, and we'd have fun playing volleyball. And now, I don't see her anymore. Well, you know, I think I'm going to go find it. This week, I went out to talk to the girls golf team and their head coach about how their season's been swinging. How has the golf season gone for you guys so far? We're off to actually a very good start. Uh, we took second in our conference match last week um, at Becker. And then yesterday, we took second or third out of 12 teams at the Purple Hawk Invite. Um, it's going pretty well. Um, our team-wise, we've been doing pretty close to getting medals each invite. It's been going better than it usually does. It's just hard to golf when the ground's really wet or it's raining. And then who are some of you guys' most improved golfers? Most improved would be Lilius, his most improved probably from last year. She had a great round yesterday. Um, and then Kenna Sanders as well. Then what have you improved on the most this season? Um, personally, driving and putting. Ben, you know how many golfers it takes to change the light bulb? How many? Four. You know, Ben, I think the golf girls are going to do absolutely excellent this year. I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, actually, before prom on Saturday, I was going to go hit the links and took a few, uh, took a few swings at the driving range and put my clubs back in my car. Yeah, I'd do the same. But before we go, Saints, 
I went out and got this week's sounds of the game. How's it going, Saints? Our softball team just beat the Monticello Magic 12 to 6, and I'm here with Alexis Skoquist and Mayanna Kaiser to get some insights on the game. So, Alexis, you batted a thousand tonight after a slow, slow start to the game. You know, how are you feeling about it? And after the fact, what were some keys to success tonight? Um, the first couple innings, we were down 4-0, I think it was, and we just strung some hits together and got on top. And Mayanna, you were uh, the starting pitcher tonight and ended up getting it done from the bump. And what were some keys to the game from the de defensive side? Uh, I wasn't too confident in the beginning, but as the game went on, I gained some more confidence and our fielding was amazing tonight. So. All right. Well, there you have it, Saints. You heard it all. Well, Ben, that's really great to hear. I'm really glad those girls pulled off that W. It was a great game, Cole. Let me tell you that much. Well, Saints, that's all the sports we have for you this week. I'm Cole. And I'm Ben. Pound it. Nug nug nugget. See ya. Now one last thing before we let you lose Saints. A while ago you may remember us asking college students, high school students, and middle school students what's the biggest animal they could take on in a fight. And to complete this legendary RQT, we ran over to the elementary schools to ask the very same question. It's the random question thing. Ding! What's up Saints? This week we went to the elementary school to ask them what's the biggest animal they could take on in a fight. What is the biggest animal you could take in a fight to I wrestle? An elephant. An elephant. Yeah. Why an elephant? They're pretty big yeah. and strong. Are you stronger? Nice. Nice one, buddy. A gorilla? Why? They're pretty strong. Are you stronger? Stronger than a gorilla? Yeah. I like it. What's your name? Sutton. And what's the biggest animal you could take in a fight? Um, a cheetah. What's your name? Um, Chris. And what is the biggest animal you could beat in a wrestling match? Um, cheetah. Cheetah, why? Um, cause um, when we throw. You're faster than a cheetah. All right, all right, I like it. What's your name, bud? Otto. And what's the biggest animal you could beat in a wrestling match? Ostrich. Why? Because I'm strong. What's your name? Uh, Lincoln. And what's the biggest animal you could take in a wrestling match? Um, a zebra. Why? Because they're weak. You're stronger than a zebra. Oh, yeah. But they run, they can kick, though. And I can jump. What's your name? Otto. And what's the biggest animal you could take in a wrestling match? Probably an elephant. Why? Because they're pretty easy to, like, because they're so big that they can't really see us because we're too small. Mm. Hey, what's your name? Aiden. And, and what's the biggest, biggest animal you could take in a wrestling match? A tiger. Why? Um, I, I'm, I can, I feel like I can outrun it. Outrun it? Yeah. So you think, uh, you, do you think you can outrun me? Um, I don't know, maybe. You I, can, I can try. Now remember, Saints, when you make a mess, you gotta clean it up. Some of those kids were actually so funny. They were answering me, but... Yeah, bro, that was so good. Well, boys, this brings an end to that RQT. It's been fun. It's been legendary. Wouldn't want it to go out any other way. You know, hi. I talk a lot about the moose I could take on. Mm -hmm. Cole probably talks about like the seven monkeys he could take on. Uh -huh. Ben is like an orca whale or something like that. Yeah. But you never really talked about what's the biggest animal you could take on in a fight. You know, pound for pound, just duking it out. I've always, for the last probably decade of my life, wanted to go hand in hand with a kangaroo. Uh, you do know they like they've got like muscles ripping out of your like, skin. Have you seen me with a shirt off? Yes. Well, Saints, that's all I have for you this week. I'm Colin. That was Hyatt. We'll see you next week. Stay safe, Saints.